Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to this webinar today about our SL cycles. My name is Michael Wiendel. I'm trainer for NC programming um, at Heidenhain. And today I want to show you how to program the SL cycles on our controls. At first I will do a presentation with the theory part and the next step would be the um, practical exercise with the programming station. So at first um, we want to look at our contour definition with cycle 14. When we want to work with SL cycles, or when do we need an SL cycle? We have our um, standard geometry cycles, for example, our um, pocket cycles, our um, for rectangular pockets, for circle pockets, um, we have the slots, the circle slots, um, and we have the Stats also, so we have easy geometric functions or forms. Um, but when we want to have a um, workpiece with, um, for example, we want a rectangular pocket outside, and inside of this pocket there should be a circle stat, circular stat, then we need an SL cycle. So we all always need the SL cycles when there is no geometric standard cycle for machine this workpiece. And when we want to work with the um, SL cycles, SL means subcontour list. So we have for every contour what we need, we need one sub program with the um, with the form of our contour. So before we start with SL cycles, we program our contours as sub-programs after our program end, so behind M2 or M30. And then when we have programmed this sub-programs with our contours, then the next step is in the main program, the SL cycles. And here we need at first cycle 14 for defining the contour numbers which we want to use for this operation. And the next step is cycle 20 with our contour data, so the deep of my pocket and the oversizes and everything. And then the machining process I can decide. So if I want to use cycle 21 for pilot drilling, if I want to have cycle 22 for roughing or 23 or 24 for our finishing. And that's what I define. When I work with SL cycles, I always need to program cycle 14 and cycle 20. From the other cycles, 21, 22, 23, or 24, I can decide what I want to do. Let's start with our programming of the contour elements in the sub-programs. The element or the control needs to know, of course, the um, the shape of the contour. So how the contour looks like that we describe with our normal programming syntax. So with L, C, C, R, C, T, um, with chamfer, with roundings, and everything. So we program our contour. But the control also needs to know for the SL cycles if the contour is an island or a pocket. And the control can know or the control recognize if this is an island or a pocket with your programming direction and the radius correction. And I always program it in the same way. I always program clockwise. And then when I always program clockwise, I know that the island is RL and the pocket is RR. So you see it in the picture. The island, there we need to program outside. The pocket, there we need to program inside. So the um, machining direction is not important for us because um, when we want to say, um, in the cycle, we could say if I in, in which direction I want to do it. The important thing for this um, sub programs is 
that the first point and the last point must be the same. So I need a close contour. So the contour needs to be closed. Also, it is not allowed to program any M functions. So we do not need a feed rate. We do not need an approach and departure sentences. We also do not need any set positions. And we also do not need an, um, an save point before contour starting. So we only need the um, description of the contour with um, X and Y coordinates and we need the radius correction. All the other things we do not need for this sub-program. So that's a difference to a normal sub-program where we want to use it for different positions, for example. So, at first we start with our cycle 14. In our cycle 14 we can combine 12 contours. So, for example, one pocket and inside of this pocket we can insert 11 islets. In that we can um, just combine the contours what we want to have. The next step is then the cycle 20. Cycle 20 is the contour data. There we define the milling deep of our deepest pocket. Also tool pass overlap, the um, allowance for side and floor, so the oversizes, and also a little bit technology, the Q8 is the rounding radius. Um, normally when we program zero in the rounding radius, then when in the machining, in the roughing process, um, the control will go in a sharp corner. So 90 degrees without a um, radius here inside. And with the rounding radius, I can say that the tool should go with the um, middle point of the tool. So with the neutral pass, um, use this rounding radius. So there is um, one, uh, 0 0.5 to 1 millimeter is enough to just make no whistling sounds when moving in the corners. That's, yeah, somebody will know it from machining and we can just insert here and rounding radius. So cycle 14 and cycle 20 are deaf active cycles. So there are no chips because of these cycles, so we do not need a cycle call for them. The next step is the cycle 22 but we do not need to program it. It's only necessary to program this cycle when you are using a tool for roughing which is not a center cut tool. Or you want to um, not to go, um, when you want to go 90 degrees down, so along the tool axis, then it's also good to make a pilot drill. If you define the cycle 21 in the Q13, you need to tell the control the roughing tool with which you want to do the roughing cycle 22 later. So in this Q13, you do not say the um, driller, you say the roughing tool later because the control needs to calculate the drilling positions for the roughing tool later. And then the important cycle is cycle 22 for roughing. In this cycle you can define the plunging deep, the feed rates, and also if you um, want to go, um, if you want to, how to entry the contour, and also important the feed rate factor. The, with the feed rate factor you can um, tell the control when you make a full cut milling, then you reduce the program feed rate for roughing to 60%. And then um, the tool is protected against damage when you're doing a full cut. So you can program a higher feed rate for roughing when you use the feed rate factor for the full cut here. Because after the full cut, we will always go with the defined um, tool pass overlap from cycle 20 contour data. So the next step is the cycle 23 for floor finishing. 
there you define the three feed rates for plunging, roughing and the retraction feed rate. And then cycle call with M99 or cycle call. And the next step is the cycle 24, side finishing. There you can program in another rotational direction, so you can say, okay, rotational direction for roughing minus and for finishing plus. Well, that's why it's not depending um, the direction in your pro, uh, sub program because in the cycle you say if you want to do it plus or minus. Also, when you program mirroring, then you can also say, okay, the direction stays the same when you program mirror, for example. And the plunging deep and the feed rate for plunging and feed rate for roughing. Allowance for side. This parameter or this value, what you program here, stays after finishing on the surface. So there normally we let zero inside. And the Q438 is for roughing, the rough out tool. Here you can define a tool and you tell the control here, be careful, I had, um, I roughed the contour with a tool, um, with tool number six, for example, and then the control watch in the tool table for the radius. Um, that's when you program a sharp corner in the contour and you make a roughing with a diameter six, or with uh, tool six with a diameter 10, for example, and then you make a finishing with diameter five, for example, then the tool can go more inside of the contour in this corner, and to provide this, you can use here a rough out tool. So our first example, what we want to program is this pocket here. So you see, it's um, not a geometric easy pocket. It's um, a pocket with a um, special contour. And this we want now to program with our SL cycles. At first, I always start with the sub-program with my label in it. So label 1. And there I program my contour. And you see only x and y coordinate with rr. So um, radius correction right or left of the contour. So for my example here, I program it clockwise. So from x10, y50, I go up to y90. So I program it clockwise. And so inside of the contour, radius correction right. And important also, label 0 for closing the sub-program. And then I enter cycle 14 and cycle 20 for the programming for um, SL cycle, also with the allowance for side and for floor. Next step is then the roughing. So I program the roughing cycle and afterwards the two finishing cycles. And always after every cycle, M99 to call the cycle. So the result you see here is a finished pocket. So, but before we go to programming station, we want to make a next step. We also want to insert an island. You see here, I want to have this island inside. And this is easy to insert because we only need to make to program a new label, label 2. Inside of this label I describe my island. You see also x25, y0, um, uh, y30, sorry, and linear y70 with rl. I also program it clockwise and outside, so left of the contour. So I need to insert the label 2. And the next step, I also need to say this SL cycle, that the SL cycle should use the second contour also. So I program contour label 1, enter contour label 2. So it's only allowed to use label numbers, because in the cycle 14 you can only use the label numbers. 
and the result looks like this. So you see the island is inside, but it is not complete uh, machined. So their um, material, residual material is still there. So yeah, we need to bring it out. That's why, because I started to do the machining with a diameter 16 cutter. And with this cutter, it's not possible to go in this areas here. So the cycle automatic let the uh, material there, so it will not destroy the contours. I can e easily ha I can easily handle this, so I just make after the first cycle 22, I put in a new tool tool called for milling diameter 8, for example, and then I define a second cycle 22, and now I use the parameter Q18. In this Q18, I tell the control, be careful, I already machined the contour with the tool number 8. So, Tool number eight, the control will look in the um, tool table and see, okay, tool number eight has radius eight millimeter. And so the control only puts away the material which the diameter 16 tool um, cannot machine. And this is an easy way to do um, machining with different tools. So we always try to do the machining with um, as big tools as possible, because then we can make a higher feed rate and we bring out more chips in a shorter time. And now we switch to programming station and start with our programming. We also start here with the drawing. So I just try to that you can also see the drawing here. So I put it here on the left side. So then you can see the drawing here. Okay, so I start with the programming. So at first we make the program 1.h. So we define the blank form. It's 0, 0, and minus 40, and x 100, 100, and z 0. And after M30, I define my label 1 and immediately program label 0, that I don't forget this label here. So now we start with our contour description. So at first, I want to start at X10 and Y50 with the radius correction RR. I program clockwise and I want to be inside, so RR, no feed rate, no M function, no set movement, nothing, just start of the contour and then we go on. We go to Y90, okay, control automatically draws it and X10. Or rounding 10. Okay, then linear. Next step is then we go to X70. Another rounding R and D 10. Then we go down Y50. And the next rounding. 5, and then we go to x90, 
Okay, and we go to Y10. Oh, I forgot one R&D. R&D10. Okay, here we also need the R&D10. Okay. Then we come back to linear X10. And the last rounding. And we close the contour on the same position where we started. So on Y50. Okay, so this is the contour. You can also use for the contour programming, you can also use the DXF converter or whatever you want. It's just important that you know the direction and the radius correction for the contour. And now we start with our SL cycle at first. Tool diameter 16, roughing tool, okay, set axis for the spindle speed, we can use the cutting data calculator, we accept the tool radius, we program our cutting speed, for example, 450, if he wants, 450, and we can accept the, radio, the RPM here, and the same we can do with the feed rate. We can say accept number of tool T's and we define our millimeter per tooth and also accept the rate, the feed rate here. We start the spindle with M3 and start with programming the SL cycles. For this we use cycle def soft key number 4, SL cycles, and cycle 14. Here we need to say I want to work with, cycle, with label number 1. And we can also add additional 11 labels here. First we start with our label number 1. Okay. The next step, cycle def, SL cycles, cycle 20. So always define it from left to the right side. So cycle 14 and cycle 20 we always need. So milling deep is minus 30. We want 0 0.5 allowance for floor and for side. Surface coordinate 0, clearance rate stays 50. Rounding radius I insert 1. So that's not depending to the tool radius because this will be um, driven with the middle pass of the tool. So not responsive to the radius of the tool. Okay, the next step is then the SL cycles. So pilot drilling, we can program it. For this example I do not need it because I have a um, center cut tool, so I start directly with roughing. So rough out, the plunging deep should be 10 millimeter. The feed rate for plunging should be a little bit reduced to my original feed rate. So I go in the cutting data calculator and program 0 0.07 and accept it again. And for the feed rate for roughing I say F auto, then the control takes the feed rate from the tool call here. And we um, another roughing tool, no, um, that's the first time roughing, so I only need to program here zero. Feed rate for reciprocation, and this is now the interesting, if you program a feed rate here, then the tool will go um, along the tool axis down, but only if it, there is zero in this parameter. So, but we want to have the movement like this, so I program here a feed rate and then the control will not go directly in the set minus, we go over a ramp down. Retraction feed rate, F maximum, and the feed rate factor, this I use to just reduce the feed rate with a full cut. And the fine rough strategy, we will talk about this parameter later, 
when we do the island also. Okay, and then we program a linear sentence with a preposition. I always recommend the preposition that we are in the near to the workpiece and then M99. And the next step is then cycle def, SL cycles and 30, 23 for finishing. We can also say here we want to program directly with feed rate per tease. And for example, I program the three feed rates and again M99 cycle def. SL cycles 24. Okay, another feed rate 0 0.7 and feed rate 0 0.1. And allowance for side, we say n uh, nothing, 0. And also rough out tool, we say 0 because we are using the same, or minus 1, so we're using the same roughing tool for finishing also. Or the tool is not, or yeah, I need to say it a little bit in a different way. We have in our drawing radius 10. So the, with the roughing tool we can, we machine the same contour like with the finishing tool. When I will program that there is not a radius 10, there's a sharp corner, then it depends, the machining depends on um, how big the tool radius is. Because of this we have here the rough out tool inside. So minus 1, not active this function. So we start with our program, last files, and we can just see the result here. Okay, so you see complete pocket. We can also watch at the milling path. So you see going down with an helical movement, so a good way to insert, to insert in the pocket. And then we do the machining process. And afterwards finishing in some steps. Okay, so next step would be the island in the pocket. So we open webinar part two. Okay. So now we want to program or to add the island in our program. So we start with our program here and I just add an label 2. Insert label 2, insert label 0. I always program it immediately not to forget it. And now we start with our pocket. So linear x25 y plus 30. And now clockwise we want to go to be outside so rl Okay, then we go linear, let's just watch what we need to do here. So linear y plus 40. Okay, and then you know, this circle we can program with a circle with tangent cell starting. So we go just incremental in the x axis 20. Okay, then we have our 
180 degrees circle and we go again down minus 50, uh, minus 40, sorry, in the y-axis and another circle tangent cell with incremental x minus 20. Okay, that is the contour. Close it in the same point where we start and label 0. So, that was the first step. The second step is then and the contour in the cycle 14. We need to add an additional label. So, just in, go inside of the sentence and just say 2 and end of block. So, now you see we have label 1 and label 2 and this is now our contour, the second contour here. The result is, you see, we have material inside and also an error message tool radio is too large because with this um, diameter 16 tool the control cannot finish the side here. So, yeah, I need to choose a smaller tool for this. So, but I do not want to do the complete contour with this smaller tool. I only want to do a part of the contour. So, I program tool call name diameter 8 with the set axis and also cutting data calculator except the tool radius from the tool table. Okay. And then we calculate number of trees and we say okay. So M3. And now we program an second time cycle def SL cycles 22, a second 22 cycle. And now we tell him we should use here the F auto. And now we tell him here he should use a work. I do it now with name, then it's um, good to see. I say, okay, I already did a machining a roughing process here with the tool number 8 or the name mill diameter 16 rough. Okay. F maximum and then 60% feed rate factor and now the fine rough strategy I let on zero. So we will see the difference in our example and I program the linear x0, zero, y0, zero, that 50 with M99. So, and now we see the same program. And now you see it's running. So the complete program is done and all the contours are finished. So now we want to make a detailed look in our milling pass. So I program and stop. And on this position here I reset the tool pass. So what happens when I program reset tool pass? The tool pass from the roughing, from the first roughing is reset and now I can start with single sentence and I only want to watch at the tool pass of my second roughing and there you see he will go along the complete contour on every step. But normally it's not necessary to do a machining here in this area for example because there is no material longer. There is everything done from the diameter 16 tool. But this is now the um, fine rough strategy. So now I only change the fine rough strategy from zero. You see zero says make a complete movement along the contour to one and one is only 
the um, areas which you need to um, rough out here or where material is still standing. So the same example, one, two, three. Okay. Reset tool pass. And then we say start single. Okay. You see the same behavior as before because I changed the value in the wrong parameter. I make it in the first cycle 22. I need to do it in the second cycle 22. So, again, okay, start single. Let's reset again and reset the tool pass and now we can see it detailed what happens here. And you see the difference from the first machining and the second machining. So with fine rough strategy one, he will only rough the areas where material is in it. With zero you go around the complete contour. So okay, and start and then we do the finishing again. Yeah, this is now the SL cycles and you can also you can overlap the contours for example you can add an, another uh, circular pocket in it, a uh, circular um, stud in it and then the control just can combine the two um, contours here for example. So, now we talked about the contour definition with cycle 14. The next step, or with um, the function with more possibilities, is the simple contour formula. And here you see the example, what we want to do. The pocket should be 30 millimeters deep. Then we have a key stud and this should be 20 millimeters deep. And we have a circular stud and this should be 10 millimeter or the, um, from 0 we say 20 millimeters, uh, 10 millimeters and 20 millimeters. So you see it here, when we go from the minus 30, then we have the circular stud at minus 20, and then we have the key stud with um, minus 10, and then we have the surface coordinate with 0 here. When you want to do this example with a cycle 14, then you need to program cycle 14, cycle 20, and cycle 22 for three levels. The first level is from 0 to minus 10. There we only have the contour of the pocket. The next level is then from 0 to the starting of the circle stud. There we have the pocket and the key stud. And the third level is from 0 to minus 30 and this is the pocket, the key stud, and the circular stud. So the problem is we always need to program M cycle 14 and cycle 20 and cycle 22. So we have a lot of air cuts and long program and also for finishing we have a lot of air cuts then. So it's better to use here the simple contour formula. And to program this we need our sub-programs as external programs. So we need one program with the contour of the pocket, one program with the contour of the um, stud, of the key stud, and one of the 
um, contour of the circular stud. And then we can just replace it, the, we can just replace the cycle 14 with our simple contour formula. We can program it over the special functions key, and then the soft key contour and point machining and contour def. And there we always start the first value, what we program is always the deepest pocket. So we always need to start with a pocket, and then we can decide if we want to do a pocket or an island. And after the definition, pocket or island, so we do not need any radius correction for this program, then we can go on with um, finding the program, and then we can also say the deep for this program. So it looks like this. So you see my contours are inside of programs, pocket, key, stud, and circular stud and I can program in my contour formula. The P1 is the deepest pocket, it's pocket.h. The island 2 is the key stat with the deep 10. So for island, it's always from 0 or from the surface coordinate to the beginning of the island. For pocket, it's always to the bottom of the pocket. So we define it here. The first is always the deepest pocket. This pocket comes from the contour data out of the cycle 20, the Q1, the deep. Then we have the island with a different deep and a, a second island with also a different deep. And the result looks like this. And a very easy program to do this. So we go to our programming station again, and next step is now we can copy our program and say program 2. So and now we start with our changing here, so we just select the block, cut out and we make a program, a new program, pocket.h. Okay, we do not need a blank form in it, and just insert the block. We do the same with our circular stat, or with our key stat here. Also cut out, and say it's key stat dot h. Okay no blank form, insert block, okay, and the third contour is the circle stat dot h, okay, there we need our drawing, it's number three, okay, so just make it a little bit bigger here. So we go circle center x seventy x seventy y plus thirty, then linear polar polar radius um, 10 and polar angle 0 with we do not need a radius correction okay and then we want to do a full circle so just circle with direction minus or plus you can decide what you want here so now we have our three contours as programs, pocket, circle stat, key stat. So, and now we change our program. We throw out the cycle 14. That is the only changing what we need to do. Delete cycle 14 and program special functions, contour and point machining, contour def. And now we start with our pocket, and that's always the deepest pocket, not the biggest, always the deepest pocket. So we 
just say enter and now you have here a very comfortable soft key select file so I only need to go in my folder and they use pocket.h okay then the control jumps to the next um, object and here I can say it's an island I can de decide it with the soft key and then also select file and key start okay and now I can also insert and deep and now I can say the key start is from 0 z0 zero, 10 millimeters away okay enter and the third object is always also an island select file circle start okay and the deep is 20 so and that is the only thing to do all the other thing stays the same now you see that is the first thing so what the diameter 16 tool can do and now the diameter 8 tool comes and now we have the finishing and everything so a really good way to do this if you want to do the same with cycle 14 you need to program a lot more cycles so it's more comfortable to do it with the simple contour formula So you see it's an easy way to machine this contours with the SL cycles. Okay, that's all from my side now. So if you have any questions, please use the question window and I can answer the questions if you have additional questions after this webinar you can always contact Heidenhain it's an easy email address it's 3103 at heidenhain.de so when you have questions you can contact us here or you just use the forum of the industry arena for, get, for getting the answer for your question so I see no questions today so it was a pleasure for me today that was the last webinar for this year we over the complete year we did a lot of interesting webinars and I hope to see you again in next year for our again interesting webinars and yeah that's all from my side I wish you a nice week and a good Christmas and good start in the new year that's all from my side. Now also we get the greetings from the industry arena. Thank you very much and bye-bye.